Let's talk about slope, which is pages 19 through 22 in uh, page 1093. We're going to keep our graph here because we're going to use that to talk about what slope is. And um, actually, I'm going to create a different graph here real quick and then I'm going to erase it, okay? So <clears throat> here's a graph. If I have a line that is going like that, yeah, if you had to walk on that, that would be a little bit of an incline. Okay, so that would be, a, it's kind of sloping upward from left to right. It's a positive slope going from left to right. Here's another one going from left to right. It's a little steeper. Okay, so we say this is a, a steeper slope. Here's one that's even steeper. How would you like to climb that one? Woo! <clears throat> but it's still positive because going from left to right, we're going uphill. Okay? If I had a slope going this direction, it's negative because it's going downhill from left to right. So picture somebody skiing. You're going downhill, climbing. You're trying to come uphill. So positive, negative. And then again, this would be a steep slope. This would be a very shallow slope. All right, that's just being sloppy. Let me get rid of that. Mathematicians love to turn everything into numbers. So actually, slope is a number that represents exactly how steep a line is. <clears throat> so I'm going to take these two points, negative 1, negative 5, and 3, 3, and try to figure out what is the slope between those two. What number represents how steep the climb is from this point to this point? So slope is calculated by figuring out the rise first and then the run. And we divide. It's often a fraction, okay? So I'm going to first of all graph negative 1, negative 5. So that would be down here. And then 3, 3. So I just graphed these two points, negative 1, negative 5, and 3, 3. And I'm trying to figure out what is the slope of this line. Now, visually, one way of doing it, and your pace doesn't really talk about this, so I'm, just, I'm not going to spend much time on it, but I just want to show you if we made a triangle out of graphing these two points, we could count how many spaces is this. Three plus, this was five, so that would be a rise of eight, okay? And then going here, negative 1 to here is 1. And then from here to here is 3, so 4. So I could visually see that this is a slope of 8, rise, over 4, run, which would be 2. Okay? Now, let's talk about how the pace wants you to do it, <clears throat> which is figuring out the change in y, okay, over the change in X. So the pace doesn't give you this little formula, but this is basically what they're doing. They're taking the first y value and subtracting the second y value. So that would be negative 5 minus 3. Okay? And then the change in x would be taking the first x value. Whoops. Need to copy that correctly, Mr. Anger. Negative 1. And then subtract the second x value. So we're looking first at the y values, take the first one, negative 5, minus 3, and then the second, or on the bottom here, is the first point, which is x, negative 1, minus 3. Now let's solve this, remembering that when we are subtracting, it's the same as adding and change the second number to its opposite. Change the second number to its opposite, so we get negative 8 over negative 4, and negative divided by a negative is positive, and 8 divided by 4 is 2. Same thing that I got right here, okay? <clears throat> so this is how we calculate slope. And uh, on several of the problems now in the upcoming pages, you're going to take two given points, and you're going to do this, this very process, okay? Show your work, and then... Uh, if you get a, you might get a whole number, or sometimes you might get a fraction, okay? And then on pages uh, 21 through 22, they have you just write 
multiple choice, okay? It's either positive, negative, zero, or undefined. And the pace explains about that. I'm not going to take any time to do that. And then uh, on 22, we're back to graphing some lines and figuring out what the, um, <clears throat> what the slope would be. All right, we'll come back and talk about another lesson.